I'm lined in three, two, one, go. A quick start right off the gate from the Blue Alliance. Both second year teams over there, Super Duper Robotics, as well as Thunderbots firing off shots during the 15 second autonomous period. Drivers are now in control of the droids. 53 to 41, Red Alliance with the lead so far in qualification match number 43. The droids are moving about the field trying to pick up power cells. Team 6451 out of Whiteland County High School. Attempting to pick up some power cells for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, opposite side of the field, we're gonna find 7457 in the blue bumpers, continuing to make shots into the high goal. They're facing a little bit of defense from Panther Tech. We'll see if they can overcome this challenge. While their alliance partners out of Lafayette, Team 4272 continues to put shots into the Red Alliance high goal. Less than a minute and a half remaining in the match, 67 to 57, Red Alliance still holding on to a 10 point lead. Wired Warriors lining up those power cells into the high goal. Team 76 57 for the Blue Alliance doing their part to help The droid called Dark Side, that's the robot for 7457. They're lining themselves up at the base of the Blue Alliance goal. Trying to mitigate that defensive play from Team 292 of the Red Alliance. One point separating these two alliances as we head towards the last 30 seconds of the match. That sound means teams can now start setting themselves up for the end game, and it looks like two of the Red Alliance robots will do just that. Thunderbots and their droid Fido trying to hook onto the Blue Alliance bar. Little over five seconds to go in the match. Will we see any robots climb? It looks like Team 7457 will do so successfully. Up goes 7657 as the clock Hits zero, very tight match. Scores coming up in just a second. All right, the scores have been added up. Let's take a look at the screen. It looks like it will be the Blue Alliance with the win, 164 to 114. Blue 